Hey guys, I'm going to be doing the simplified patch notes for the week. I just try to make it as simple as possible as well as nice and quick for you to learn everything without having your time wasted. So the first thing is whenever you win a guild league uh, match, you will get red lightstones of fire. And for every 10 matches that your um, guild participates in, every member will get one lightstone of fire. So a nice thing for you and your guild mates. The next thing is uh, you will see in your challenge menu that you will receive herbs and for those event herbs that you receive you can uh, hand them over to Dallas Shane. It's an NPC in every major city for two different buffs of your choosing. So you can either get a PvE buff or a life scaling buff, both that get you um, uh, drop rate or gathering drop rate which is really nice, and you'll also get a gift bag that gives you some rewards. Uh, the next thing is there is new daily login rewards. Uh, not much that's worth mentioning, but for new players you get some nice rewards. Um, so I'll just show you what you can get on the screen. Uh, the next thing is Suck Megu and Wusa skills. Increased HP effect was removed on these skills, which are Butterfly Dream, Lunar Raid for Wusa, and Fox Spirit form for Megu. So instead of getting more HP, you will just get um, recovery, is what I'm guessing. It was a bit a bit hard to understand. Um, so S Scholar has received some small changes, nothing really that big. I'll show you what it is on the screen. And this one's pretty big um, for new players mostly. Um, Deeves en Encyclopedia, Eager Portali's Adventure Log, and Herald's Journal have all been made easier to complete. So Deeves requires less unique materials, so you would need you would need like five different types of rocks. Now you would only need three. That's just an example. I think it's more like ten and seven. Um Ecar Brutality, you never you don't require um Quint to kill anymore. So you don't need to kill Quint. And you no longer need to breed a horse, instead you only need to tame one. Same thing with the cooking utensil, you only have to make a basic one. Um, the, the elephant quest was also simplified, and Harold's Journal was just made easier to complete all the tasks by reducing the time limit. So nice changes for all the uh, adventure logs. Um, some some uh, guild skills were buffed to last longer, and they made the cooldown to 4 hours, which I believe has been reduced. So all of the guild skills will last 2 hours instead of 1. The next change is Strong Protection, which is like a buff in PvP that you get in RBF and uh, Guild League. Um, has reduced to 5 seconds. It's basically like an iframe where you can't get um, damage at all. So they reduce it to be only 5 seconds, so you can't abuse it as much anymore, which is really nice. Especially with the spawn time, um, the, the reloading decrease. Um, all blacksmiths now sell the cup extraction item that's called the refined essence of emotions and you don't need a fragment of all creation and legacy of agent um, anymore to remove cups instead you would need 200 magic shards instead of 100 so I'll show you what the new um, way to make it now the cup extraction thing whatever it's called. Uh, the next thing is you can now heat sealed black magic crystals with blackstone powder so you can heat 10 at a time. That is very big because a lot of the time it would take a while to get magical shards and now uh, will be a lot faster. Next thing is you do more damage to these monster zones but the HP was increased. Um, this was supposed to be because they wanted to make it a little bit easier for new players to understand so nothing has really changed and some monster zones were changed um, for the recommended AP on the min on the uh, world map was adjusted so some have been increased some have been decreased I'm guessing so you can all see all the uh, the new AP requirements here uh, the last thing is there's a new for that, with that, there's a new UI to see your total stats for monster zones. Um, so you can see your total AP to get a better idea on if you can do grind spots or not. Because just being 300 AP isn't really enough to do a lot of grind spots and you need 
a bunch of buffs. So it gives players a better idea on if they can do it now. And yeah, there's some other changes, but they don't really matter. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a good one, and peace.